Welcome to Q57. I'm Dr. Laura Murillo, President and CEO of the Houston Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We have a very special guest joining us today, Neil Bush, and he is certainly among our Houston legends. You know he's done tremendous work internationally, more specifically here in Houston, has really been at the forefront with literacy. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Laura. And on behalf of our Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, our greatest sympathies. Thank what you. a true, true statesman your father was, and what a beautiful, beautiful uh, service in tribute to him. It's been an amazing period to, to see my mom, my dad lifted up with so many testimonials for a life long and well lived. I mean, he, he defied death four or five times. And Marie and I were with him along with some other family members at, at his passing. It was really a blessing. Yes. And we'll miss him, but uh, but he inspires me to be a better man every day. He was just an amazing human being. Well, and you are. Thank and the you. fact that you're here just days after the service says a lot about you, your Thank integrity, you. and your you. commitment. You've been a great friend to the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We've partnered with you on literacy. Certainly, uh, your mom was a champion along with yes. you on that particular front. My beautiful mom. Talk to us about your efforts and what you see currently. You know, my mom was was really wise. Um, she also passed away this year, so it's been a, been a year of transition for our family. Mom understood that if you can't read at an age-appropriate level, then you can't possibly realize your fullest God-given potential. If you can't read in third grade, then you can't read to learn in fourth grade and, and on and on and on. If you can't read as an adult, you can't possibly um, realize your fullest potential. So she realized that if we could help everyone you know, become fluent in reading, and, and that's not just reading, but it's writing, commu communications, and yes. those skills, then they would, they would be better off in their lives. And a lot of the problems we see in society would go away. You know, our prisons are loaded with people who can't read, adults that can't read at, at more than a third grade level. And it's, it's just tragic because everyone has the potential to learn and to read. So, and, so we need to double down in this community. The Barbara Houston Literacy Foundation is doing a great job under the leadership of Julie Baker Fink. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're really proud of the impact we're making here in Houston. Yeah, but we know third grade is a very important mm -hmm. cutoff point. And so are you seeing a bigger effort toward this? Are we seeing more preschool, pre-K initiatives because so many of the families that we're talking oh. about can't afford those programs? There are some great efforts being made and, and I know you're visiting with other guests that are focused on early learning. Um, third grade is really the key benchmark. If we can get every third grade kid in Houston yes. reading at grade level, then, then the, the school system would be better off, the, the city of would be better off. Um, but it's not just pre-K. There's important, you know, there are pre-K programs available mm -hmm. to kids um, in communities throughout the Houston area that sh they're not aware of the program and they should be, a be able to send their kids to these programs. It starts in pre it starts before preschool in daycare centers. We need to lift every daycare center so that it's not just a babysitting environment, but rather an environment for learning and stimulating yes. curiosity and getting kids to think and to hear words and you know do exercises that help them grow their brains, which are developing so rapidly at that age. Yes. I'm also a huge advocate. I chair the Points of Light organization, mm -hmm. a national organization focused on volunteerism. I mean, we at the Barbara Houston Literacy Foundation are big advocates of volunteers helping uh, teachers in classrooms, in, in my case, I actually tutor a kid, a first grade kid in some school somewhere, I don't know where, um, where um, um, the teacher selected this kid because he's a low, low reading level. And he and I once a week have an interaction. I've done it three years in a row. Right. We need more volunteers yes. to work through the, the independent school systems in the Houston area, including HISD. Yeah. And HISD is welcoming uh, volunteers yeah, to go absolutely. into the classroom and through this, this this program that I use. So if we can get an army of volunteers to work with programs that are already effective in helping yes. lift people's literacy skills, then we're, the, the community's gonna be much better And there off. is that very big need. Studies show that uh, talking to your children in, in words versus the gibberish right. that yeah. we like to do the because Google they're guy, babies, yeah. because you have to unteach that. And so they are really yeah. sponges at that right. time from birth, yeah. reading to them, whatever it is, even if it's the back of yeah. a cereal box. But right. uh, we wanna emphasize that to folks who are watching as a yeah. parents, especially that don't wait for them 
representative to right. get into first yeah. grade or kindergarten. It's almost too late. Talk to your kids, read to your kids, yes. give your kids loaded up with books in their homes. Yes. Too many kids don't have home libraries. The Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation has a program called Read Houston Read, which is helping bring, you know, helping with tutoring. We have a, a um, my first home, my home library, which has provided yeah. thousands of kids with their first home libraries. Yeah. We just need to have multiple efforts that help, you know, kids with um, hearing more words, being exposed to more books, developing a love and an interest in reading. And sadly, too many parents aren't really equipped to help their children. There's economic challenges, there's language challenges, there are all kinds of challenges. And so there, there, but there are interventions that are helping to make parents more aware, that are helping them with, you know, providing the resources and that kind of thing. We just need to double down yes. here in Houston to make Houston a model for, um, for literacy and how literacy can impact our society in such a positive way that affects all of us. Very good. And we'll be right back with Neil Bush, Houston legend.